Alright guys, welcome back to your fifth C++ tutorial, and in this tutorial, since we now have the knowledge of variables within C++, let's put that knowledge to use. So let's go ahead and make three variables right now, but I'm going to be making them a little bit different than before. So in the last tutorial, we had a variable like A, and you said equal to a value like 54. Simple enough. But I want to tell you guys that whenever you first create a variable, you have the option of assigning the value then or assigning the value later on such as a equals 54 this is perfectly fine and you can do it this way so whenever you first create a variable and you don't assign the value this is called declaring the variable declaring is just another name for creating the variable so let's go ahead and create three variables and by the way I'm gonna be making a basic computer program where the user enters two numbers such as like two and three and the computer is going to add them together and it's going to give them the answer which would be five so int a I'm going to have a variable called a and I'm going to have another variable called b and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be calculating the sum or in other words when you add the two numbers together the answer of that and storing it in a variable called sum so we don't have any of the values yet so that's why we can't fill them in the user is going to be entering the values for us so the first thing we want to make in this program is just a little prompt on the screen to tell the user to enter a number and we do that using C out and we just write enter a number Haas and then let's go ahead and write new line and now we need a way for the user actually to input information from their keyboard so here's a neat little thing I can tell you C out took information from your computer and output it to the screen but anytime you want to take information from the computer or excuse me from the user and give it to the computer you need to use C I N so C out basically takes information from the computer and gives it to the user C in takes information from the user and gives it to the computer so if you write C I N and by the way if you're taking a test this is technically called the input stream object and the little greater than greater than sign is called the stream exaction extraction operator so you know make sure to fill that out on your multiple choice if you're watching this in a C++ class or something. So anyways, you can see that this is different from the C out for two reasons. First of all, it's C in instead of C out, and also your arrows face the opposite way. That's because you're giving information to the computer instead of the computer giving information to you. So now what we can do is we're gonna enter a number, and whatever number we enter, we need to give it a place to store that number. Well, we already have a variable right here, so let's go ahead and use that, and use the variable a. So check this out. It's gonna allow us to enter, enter a number, and whatever number we enter, it's gonna be stored in the variable a. So for example, if we enter the number three, a is going to be equal to three. Simple enough. So now that we have that variable taken care of, we basically need to do the same thing again with the other variable, b. So c out, we'll say enter another number, and just go ahead and we'll just make a new line to make the program easier to read, and use that c in again. But now when they enter a number, we want that value to be equal to the variable b. So they're gonna enter two numbers, one's gonna be equal to a, the other is going to be equal to b. So now for the sum, we don't want them to, you know, enter a value for the sum. We want to calculate that ourselves. So in order to do that, just go ahead and write sum equals a plus b. And now what our, our computer program is going to do is it's going to say, all right, I'm going to grab the ver excuse me, I'm going to grab the value you put in for a, and I'm going to grab the value you put in for b, and I'm going to calculate that, and I'm going to store that in the variable sum. So for example, if you wrote 10 and 15, it's going to say, all right, grab 10, grab 15, calculate the sum of it, which is 25, and store it in a variable called sum. So now the sum is equal to the answer. And all we have to do now is print it out on the screen. So C out, um, we'll just write the sum of those numbers is, is it the sum of those numbers are where some of those numbers is. I think it's is because it's one sum. And again, anytime you want to add more than one line of text, you could do it like this. Um, you could write a new line 
and then print this out on another line but I want to add it on the same line so I'm gonna go ahead and add another insertion operator just like that and just go ahead and write sum and then add another one and just go ahead and write n line just so our program looks nice and neat so basically well let me go ahead and run this and I'll talk you guys through it after I run it our computer program says enter a number Haas I'm gonna enter 50 and then go ahead and press enter once I press enter 50 is gonna be stored in the variable a it says enter another number I'm gonna enter 32 then I'm gonna press enter and that 32 is gonna be stored in the variable B then it's gonna make our calculation and print it out on the screen the sum of those numbers is 82 50 plus 32 is indeed 82 so remember what we did is basically this we made three variables that we're gonna be using later on the first thing it said is just basically a prompt enter a number then we entered 50 it stored 50 in the variable A using CN. Again, CN is a way that the user can give information to the computer program instead of the other way around. So now A is equal to 50. It gave us another prompt and we typed in 32. Now B is equal to 32. So in order to calculate the sum, we took the sum variable and set it equal to the sum of 50 plus 32. So now sum holds the value of 82 or 83 whatever I typed in I can't remember and then all we did is we printed it out on the screen and again we could have wrote three different statements for this one C out for this one C out for this one C out for this but in order to save us some time we can actually use this operator right here and print everything out on one line so that is why our program ran the way it did again let's just go ahead and run it one more time enter a number 44 and 76 hit enter the sum of those numbers is 120 pretty cool huh so that's how you build a basic calculator in C++ using variables and C out so now that you got that done um, we can begin moving on to the next topic which is I don't know but trust me it's gonna be amazing so um, you study this and once you understand the basics of variables and CN you're ready to move on to the next video. So for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.